Hello everybody, this has got a transformer wall. I am very excited for this opening because I have 49 Dollar Tree packs of Sun and Moon base set. So this was an amazing find by my awesome mom who is very supportive of this hobby of mine. Uh, found these at a Dollar Tree during the Sword and Shield era. I just want to make, make that point clear. Like I believe it was just the Sword and Shield base set that was coming out or just came out. Like, it was around the release of Sword and Shield that she found these somewhere. Some Dollar Tree. I don't know which one, but I don't know how they had these. I am ecstatic they had these, and that she picked a bunch up for me. Because this is one of my favorite sets. And there's 49 total. One short of a nice even 50. But that's fine with me. I'll take any amount of these. Because it's one of my favorite sets. So we're opening up all of them in this opening. Uh, we'll just be going one, one at a time. It's because I can't multitask, and it's either silently multitasking to get them all open and then just go through them all, or I do them one at a time. So that way I can talk and not just have a silent space in my video. <laughs> uh, this works for me, basically. In the background, though, today we have Shark Gone and Bulbasaur, always there. This guy right here is not a bot bot. I have other Transformers. <laughs> His name is Hot Rod. He's based on his, like, World War II appearance from the fifth live-action movie, The Last Night, uh, before he becomes the, like, Hot Rod version, essentially. Uh, we're going to start with this pack here. I'm very excited to see what could be in here. I'm not, I'm not holding out hope for something I'm missing, but I'm hoping for some good stuff. So first of all, these all come with, like, this little advertisement card, which should have been updated by now since X and Y was... A while ago. <laughs> but let's just see what we can get out of these. So this first one, essentially there's these are three card packs if you don't know what Dollar Tree packs are. Uh, you get a common as the first card. The third card is an uncommon. The middle card can be literally any card in the set. Like any card. Could be another common, a rare, reverse hollow, golden seeker rare. You can get anything for that second card. So we're just going to see what comes out of here. We have a Morlul, Psychic Energy, and Chinchou. All right, so I guess energies come in place of the uncommons. There. <laughs> I'm just going to do that now. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting an energy. I, I got that spot. I really wasn't. But... Boo to Pokemon for doing that with these. Like a three card pack should not have an energy. We have a Skarmory, Trumbeak, and Hariyama, which is a rare, a non hollow, but still a rare. I'll be putting any pulls we get here. We can count and see what we got at the end afterwards. Like to me, for these Dollar Tree packs, I count a pull as anything that isn't just another common. So whether it be a reverse hollow, a rare, ultra rare, I will count it as a pull because the normal version of these, like, like the most basic version you get is two commons and an uncommon. Anything else I think is a pull for these. So we have a Sandy Ghast, Corsola, and Caterpie. Okay, yeah, Corsola was uncommon. I was like, did we get three commons? But nope, Corsola is an uncommon in this set. I forgot. have a Cosmog, Energy Retrieval, and Rock and Roll. So it's so weird. This room is like a sauna for me right now. <laughs> like I am sweating. Uh, everywhere else in the house, it's not hot. Like everywhere else is either air conditioned or just cool. And I don't know why. This one room that I have to be in for this <laughs> is the hottest one. We have Fomantis, Steenie, and a Reverse Hollow Golbat, which is an uncommon reverse. Not one of the ones I need, but I, yeah, I'll be shocked if we get a new one, because I'm only missing Fomantis, Marini, Alolan Meowth, and Timer Ball. Only four Reverse Hollows are what I'm missing for this set. So extremely not likely we're going to be seeing any of those. 
but I mean, it's possible, so we can hope. <laughs> All right, so this next pack has an Eevee, Metapod, and a Lolan Raticate, which is a reverse holo uncommon again. So back to back uncommon reverses. Next, another Decidueye artwork. I remember when I first started finding these Dollar Tree packs, I genuinely thought they only came with one artwork for the set because the first time I found them, I swear they all only had one artwork. <laughs> uh, but then it's just, as time went on, I found more of these. It's like, oh, they do have the other artworks for these. All right, then uh, we have a Wingle, Big Malasada, and a Crobat Hollow. First hollow pull of these packs. So that is very nice. I'm not missing any hollows though, so any hollows will be automatic duplicates. But hollows are welcome because they are good pulls for these things. All right, we have a dupe hider, potion, and butterfree which is another non holo rare. I'll be curious how many, like, pulls we get by the end of this. Because I think so far with how little of this we've opened so far, we have a good number. We have a Roggenrola, Bulldor, and Parasect, which is another rare. So now back-to-back -back rares. Still holding out hope for an Ultra Rare, though. Out of at least one of these. We've only just started, though. All right, we have a Growlithe. And a Lola Meowth. Like I said, I'm literally just going to throw those. Like, they're a waste of space, especially in these packs. Where, like, again, genuinely... My honest, genuine opinion, it's a garbage move to be including those in this three-card pack. We have a Surskit, Big Malasada, ooh, and a Dragonite Reverse Hollow Rare. That I do remember this being one of the last cards I needed. Like, this honestly might have been number, like the fifth to last one I needed, but it is a duplicate now. So next, Free Marina. Bree Marina is the uh, the one and only last regular GX I need for this set. So if we found that in one of these packs, I would be thrilled. But we'll just see. We have Togedemaru, Steamy, and a Reverse Hollow Ilima. So another pull there. Got Sidui on another one. So yeah, like most of these are like pretty much all of them have like the same one side, but the other side can be different, which I still don't understand how they haven't updated this since X and Y. Like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> With like more up-to-date stuff. Uh, we have Young Goose, Pukumuku, and Litten. So finally a pack that doesn't have anything in it. I feel like we had a bunch in a row that had something in it. Next pack here has a dupe hider and a Lolan Diglett. We have Drowsy, EXP Share, and Two Cannon, which is a rare. So very nice, more of those. Move those over a little bit because we're almost knocking over Hot Rod there. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we have a Sandy Ast, Granbull, and another Hariyama. It's another non holo there. Duplicate one for this opening as well. If there's one thing I'm very happy about with this new iPad, 
Uh, it is double the storage space, which means right now I definitely have no need to worry about this video going maybe too long. I mean, I'm still, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go on as fast as I can, but like, I don't have to worry. Like, I really don't. I'm not even halfway full in the storage right now. We have Wingle and Golduck, which is another rare. Doing really well with the rares. <laughs> Okay, next one has a Poplio and a Crabbominable, so back-to-back -back packs with a Water Rare and a Useless Energy. Having a lot of those, like, back-to-back, -back, like, pulls. So we had two, two Reverse Halls in a row, two, or having two Rares in a row. We had two energies in a row there. We have Poplio again, that again, and Stuffle. Not even halfway through. So, I'm gonna try speed this up a little bit. We'll see how that it goes. <laughs> we have a Wingle, Entertini. I usually find if I rush a bit, things tend to go wrong more. <laughs> but I'll try. We have a Lily Pup, Poison Barb, and a Bound Sweep. All right, next one has a Psyduck, Team Skullgrunt, and Oranguru, which is a hollow pull. Very nice there. I believe there was a, I don't remember what set it was, but I believe there was an Oranguru that was usable. Like at least I, I believe there was one that was like playable. I don't remember which one it was. Or if that's out now, or if that was even actually the case. And I'm just making that up. I don't know. I don't play the game, so that kind of stuff doesn't really stick in my mind. I'm, I'm just mainly a collector. We have a Litten. Sometimes I remember stuff though. Passimian and Pokemon Catcher Reverse Hollow. Very nice. Only open for Timer Ball though. And we have a Morwell and a Drowsy. Another common reverse. Very nice. I think of this, we should be about halfway, more or less. And we have a Poliwag, Pokeball, and Skarmory. On to the second stack here. There we go. And a different one inside, XYZ. It's so weird that they went with like XYZ for the anime and we never got a Z game. We have a Cutie Fly, Hollow and Eradicate, and Team Skull Grunt, Reverse Hollow Uncommon Trainer. Okay, I need to move those from under Sharkicon. So there we go. Without knocking him over. <laughs> A Dratini, Torcat, and Spiro. And next, Cosmog, Great Ball, and Rog and Rolla. Considering how many pulls we've had so far, I'll be Fine if we have a few in a row here that are just two commons and one common. Help even it out a little bit more. We have Cutie Fly, Energy Switch, and Palisand, which is a rare. 
So never mind that. <laughs> Didn't get too much of a run with the two commons on common. All right, we have an Alolan Meowth, Torcat, and Sandile. I am still looking for an Ultra Rare, though. Like, I've, I've definitely had Ultra Rare pulls from less. <laughs> so, I think it'd be weird if we had all of this and didn't have at least one. We have Litten, Great Ball, and Cosmog. I mean, I'd like to hope. I don't, like, there aren't people around here weighing these and somehow weighing out Ultra Rares. I like to think. But I don't know. Alright, we have a Poplio, Brion, and another Alolan Radicate, Reverse Hollow. So second duplicate one in this opening so far. We have the two Harianas, now we have the two Alolan Radicates. And we have a Grubbin, Crocorock, and Growlithe. That might be the first Zubat. I don't remember seeing one so far. We have Zubat. And a Cloister, which is another rare. I've got a nice stack going of all these uh, advertisements. <laughs> we have Bounce Suite, Hypno, which is an, okay, that is an uncommon. I was like, did I miss something? Uh, nope, that is a Passimian uncommon, Reverse Hollow. Because Hypno is one of those Pokemon that always seems to get like different rarities depending on the set. Sometimes it's a rare, sometimes it's an uncommon. Sun and Moon base set. It was an uncommon. Here we have a Paris Switch and Lillipop. And we have a Litten and Firo, which was a common randomly. <laughs> Like, they do that sometimes, too, where it's just like, here's an evolved Pokemon as a, as a rarity, or as a rarity lower than you'd expect, because Spearow was also a common, and then they also had Fearow as one. I don't know why. We have Surskit, Pupamuku, and Young Goose. Ten or so left. Still hoping for an Ultra Rare. We have a Marini, Spinda, and Stuffle. And we have another Marini, Spinda, and Stuffle. <laughs> was that just the same pack? That was literally the same, literally, literally the same pack. What the heck? <laughs> like everything in the same spots and all. That's weird. You definitely don't have that happening ever. We have a Lowen Grimer. And a reverse hollow Psyduck. Very nice there. Have a Picky Peck, Poliwhirl, and Crab Bombable. Another one of that. A 
And once again, I don't know why this one room is hotter than the rest. All right, we have a Lulling Rhymer and Fomantis. I have a nice, I have a nice colorful background forming behind the figures there. <laughs> we have a Rowlet, Pelipper, and Torkoal. Four left after this one. I still hope for an Ultra Rare. But get out of this many packs, I, there should be one minimum. I've had I've had some from less. We have Marini, Lily, and Crab Brawler. Play Marina on the sun. And we have a Toga Demaru and a Firo. Reverse Hollow Common for some reason. And this next one has a Fomantis, Dartrix, and Spiro. Second to last one. We have a Psyduck, Crushing Hammer, and Eevee. And final pack. Did we somehow save a poll for last? I'll, I'll be shocked if it somehow ended up, if we had one and it ended up last. All right, well, we have a Firo, Switch, and a Paris. So, kind of disappointing that we had that many Dollar Tree packs and there was not a single Ultra Rare. Like, I don't know which is more likely. Like, like I, I fully believe, like, that many Dollar Tree packs, there should be, like, an Ultra Rare or two. But I don't know how likely it is that it either someone weighed out the Ultra Rares already or my mom was just that unlucky in picking these out. <laughs> like, I don't know which is more likely. Uh, we did get a fair amount of pulls for the 49 packs. Like, that's a pretty good stack. And there was... ...23 pulls out of 49 packs. Like, that's, that's a little... That's just close to half. Which is which is pretty good, but there wasn't a single ultra rare, which isn't I think. Uh, let's just go through all these pulls once again. We had the reverse hollow Firo, crab abominable, reverse Psyduck, Passimian, Cloyster, Alolan Raticate number one, Palisand, Team Skull Grunt, Drowsy, Pokemon Catcher, Hollow or Rangru, crab abominable number two, Golduck, Hariyama number one, Toucan. Dilemma, Dragonite, Parasect, Butterfree, Crobat Hollow, Hollow and Radicate Reverse number two, Golbat, and Hariyama number two. So 23 pulls out of 49 Dollar Tree packs. Again, I think that's good, but the fact that they somehow wasn't an ultra rare. Like I don't I, I mean I don't think that they're not guaranteed, I believe, but I would imagine that like a, like a full box has some sprinkled in. So I, I don't know about this. Like, I don't know. Something went wrong. I don't know if it was my mom's luck or someone weighed them. Like, I don't, I, I don't, I also, I also don't see someone like sitting there in a Dollar Tree with a weight of some kind that's good enough to weigh out just Ultra Rares. Like, I don't know, I don't see that happening. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just too good of a person to think like people will do that that much. Or will go to that extent to do that. 
Uh, but yeah, that's it for this opening, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this opening. Stay tuned for more, of course. Have a great day.